Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. The Xiaomi beta firmwares are exciting. Every week they have a new update and that is what has happened recently as well with the Poco Phone F1. We have a new update that is a beta global update and it does have a few tricks up its sleeves. So let's go ahead and check that out today because we have a new gaming mode. We have digital well-being being integrated with a new name altogether. So this one is going to be as exciting as the one which was the last week. Now without further ado, if you haven't already already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well and the contest for the Zenfone M2 giveaway has been extended till the 30th of this month so there's a link in the description if you're from India go ahead and participate and stand a chance to win a brand new Zenfone M2 now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kailash let's begin all right guys so looks like it's time for a quick preview at another beta update and the changes and stuff like that you usually see every weekend on smartphone tutorials now this one is a little late but nonetheless let's get going with it because this is the xiaomi pocophone f1 on smartphone tutorials and it doesn't get better than this with the latest beta update so if we go to settings here and if we go to about first things first we will go ahead and check the versions and stuff like that so this is the miui 10 global 9.4.18 beta and if you have a look at the security patch level it is still 1st of april 2019 now on some xiaomi devices they have upgraded to you know they have upgraded the security patch to 1st of may but that's not a big concern because we are still up to date compared to the stable update or all the other features of course this is still based on Android 9 Pi, which is, uh, you know, a given because that is the update that is running right now. But overall, if you talk about it from a look point of view, from an aesthetic point of view, there's nothing much that has changed. It looks like the basic MIUI. But if you go to settings and if you go to system updates, and then if you tap on what's new, you will see that there is a small change log over here. Now, this is relatively a good change log and there is one thing that is not mentioned over here, which is the big changes that they have made to the gaming mode. And there is a dedicated video coming on that. But for now, lock screen, status bar, notification, shade. So optimization, uh, wallpaper loads faster in second space now. So earlier what used to happen is if you're using second space, which is uh, basically using two phones in one, and if you were to switch to second space, the wallpaper would take some delayed time to load into and stuff like that. That was a bug. I have experienced it and they seem to have fixed it now. Face unlock animation didn't work properly. So I did not pay attention to this, but let's quickly have a look. Okay. So I don't know, okay, let me stay away so that I can show you the animation. That's the animation and if I come in front over here, it should work. Nonetheless, so that has been fixed. Now, apart from that, battery info in the status bar was updated with a delay. Now, again, this is something I did not experience on the Poco because for me, it was working perfectly fine that the battery info or the battery status bar over here percentage didn't really update real time and stuff like that. So that was fine for me. But moving on, if we have a look at the camera optimization, the same set of filters and beautify options works in photo portrait and short video modes now and rearranged short video and slow motion options. So let's quickly go to camera, of course. And uh, if we go to photo, that's the front camera. It's a very really weird angle for my DSLR to be there, but that's fine. That's how it is. Uh, nonetheless, uh, if we go to photo, portrait, so if you have a look at this, say you keep this into big eyes or say tone and then if you move to portrait and you see over here, so it's more or less the same and that is a good thing. So it's more unified now the camera experience and uh, to me, the stock camera on the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 has been one of the best stock cameras after OnePlus and a few other devices. Now, these are the basic changes, but one more small change that I've not men mentioned in the change log or update is digital well-being. Yes, that has been integrated into Xiaomi's MIUI. 
and it is now called screen time. Now the interesting part here is if you go anywhere like even if you go to battery for that matter so if you go to battery and performance there is nothing called a screen time over here but if you type in at the top in search S C R E E N you will see something called as screen time. Now this is more or less uh, very very similar to digital well-being this is the MIUI or Xiaomi version of digital well-being. It tells you how much you've used your phone, how much have you unlocked, how much screen on time have you used and how many times you know you've unlocked or used a particular application. You have last 30 days, last 7 days, screen time today, 2 hours 31 minutes. That's not accurate because I've been charging my phone on and off. So digital well-being is a very very welcome addition but to me, still the digital well-being feature, the stock one in pure Android, looks very, very beautiful. I hope they will make improvements to this. Now, apart from this, one nifty feature that they have added is Game Speed Booster. Now, you will tell me that, of course, that was already there. What is new about it? Why are you talking about it again? Well, the reason I'm talking about it again is because, one, the icon has changed. So, initially, when it was in beta, they had a blue icon, after which they moved to a yellow icon, which was the previous update. And now, they have moved to a blue icon again. Now if we launch this, so there's this sound and animation which comes, let me turn the phone around actually. Now as you can see over here this game mode or game speed booster mode is completely different, the icons look different and you can also see over here that there is CPU, GPU and battery percentage that is displayed, you have an exit button, it takes the full screen experience to the next level, you have a start playing button option here and you have settings and you can you know resize it you can add games manually so more or less the game speed booster mode has been further optimized further enhanced and stuff like that so you know more or less it will be an amazing update if you go ahead and use it and people who have been asking me how to move from stable to beta or beta to stable there is a video in the pocophone playlist you can go ahead and have a look at that and uh, if you want i will go ahead and leave a link in the description for this but for now this was a quick look and stay tuned for tomorrow's video because in tomorrow i'm going to talk in detail about the game speed booster mode and what are all its features and how does it work and stuff like that for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials if you like this video please like it and share it as much as you can so that we can grow and bring more awesome content to you for now this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye this bond is solid gold we're a diamond and an emerald it took me forever to find